welcome back to Grunk's Barn for this part 8 of this never ending fucking saga of this bloody freeloader and its clutch. Well, things have come on a bit. I have been doing a little bit of work lately. Not a lot, but a bit. And basically, we're nearly there. This will be the last video. You'll be pleased to bloody hear. I've done a lot more uh, rust treatment under here. New brake lines are in. They just need to be clipped back against the bodywork. Only I'm going to have to drill some new holes and put some new clips in. Because the old ones have all snapped. <sighs> Pretty much anyway. The ones holding the pipes together are alright. They've stood up relatively well, but the ones holding it to the bodywork haven't. They've all gone brittle and cracked. But never mind. So the uh, IRD is now in fully. All the bolts are on that. All I've got to do is put the two um, steadying brackets, which are sitting around under here somewhere. Yes, yeah, it looks a mess again over here. Everything fell over the other day. I went to get up off the floor and pulled on the wrong bit and the blocks gave way. <laughs> Which is why the cross member's now sitting over here out of the way. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yep, so the new lines are in. I found out why the clutch wouldn't bleed. It's because of this poxy little bloody reservoir under there. So fucking small, the ones that have bled a couple of times, there was no fluid left in the system just about. And inside, the cap that goes on that reservoir is that. A fucking great rubber bladder, which means that it holds even less bloody fluid than it should do. And as it is, it only holds about a thimble full. What a stupid bloody design. Well, I've been gravity bleeding it, so we shall see if it's worked. <sighs> I don't know. Yep, so now all i got to do is put the battery tray back in. Fix that to some degree so that it can actually tighten up properly. I don't know if I showed you that. Let's have a look. Ugh. There's just another little problem. My old brake lines that I've removed. Yeah, this here is pin. Fuck. It was a bolt. This sits on top of it. Like that. When you bolt it down, it pushes down on the battery that sits in here. Half of it goes under the lugs of the battery. So it holds it in one side and this then bolts on this side to hold it the other side down. Which all well and good, but it was completely fucked. There's a captive nut inside the plastic under there that you can't fucking get to because it's set in the plastic. And of course, with age, it's right together and the whole lot just spins. And it's not the easiest of things to get out. I tried, uh, I cut the head off it, tried beating it out, it won't fucking move. It's set very heavily in there, and I don't want to break that plastic, because these are not cheap. When we got this, I hadn't noticed that uh, someone had put some massive great cable ties around the battery to hold it in place. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I've got to sort that out. Then it's only four bolts holding that back onto the car again. Everything else in here is done. Everything's tightened down. Uh, so I've got two brackets to put back on. There's about seven or eight bolts holding all that. Those steady brackets. Ugh. And I've also had to by request, I cleaned these side steps up while I was at it. They're peeling like fucking paint on. Clean them up, 
treated the rust and I've got to paint those over as well just to make it look a bit better right let's get on see what we can get done today right we appear to have a clutch now I've let it a little bit <sighs> anything is the clutch pedal is not coming up all the way every single time but I shall leave it to settle and see what happens there if needs be I might have to bleed it again a bit more and when I put back the top on the reservoir as well I push that big rubber thing right up inside the bloody top there's room for a lot of fluid in there for a change I have heard on some of the forums people have been cutting those out those rubber bits to allow them to put more fluid in there because they do hold bugger all otherwise crazy anyway I've now filled her up with oil tried to change the oil filter the only 36 mil anything I've got is a spanner and someone's done that up so bloody tight I cannot get it moved so it's gonna have to wait until I got a 36 mil bloody socket I've got everything but I got smaller I got bigger I haven't got that size never mind I've also painted the side steps up now they look lovely and black again not that that's an important part of the job particularly but I was asked to do it so that's done now all I've got to do is fill up the gearbox and IRD again and while I'm at it I will check the rear diff give that a top up <sighs> while I'm at it I might as well and I've still got to fix this bloody uh, battery box although I'm not going to be putting that back on until I've got that clutch sorted because with where the clutch bleed valve is it's a complete twat to get at if you've got the battery box in because the clutch bleed valve is there where my finger is just there and of course the battery box comes out to about here so it blocks your way into it so that will wait but we are now getting somewhere towards the end I've also still got to remove these bloody uh, drop links as you can see the rubber's fucked on that one and they got to both be replaced they're going to be fun to get off And I've been looking underneath and thankfully I can't see any leaks anywhere yet. So it looks like the crank rear oil seal is holding. I hope. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to take this fucker back off again, no fucking way. In such a git. Right, I better get on. Start putting other things back together. Well, here we go. Both the brackets there and above here, both back on, all bolted up. That's it, another job out the bling way. Oh dear, so next job will be to sort out these bloody brake lines, get them clipped back where they belong, fill up the IRD to the old filler level plug there, and the gearbox is at the end of it. The filler level for that need to do those as well and once these are clipped in then the uh, cross member can go back on and fuck for this light at the end of the tunnel oh, oh fuck up right oh, that's enough buggering about for one day I shall see you tomorrow all right we're back again Brake lines are now clipped in. All the way down there somewhere. I'm not going to bother trying to get to them. I'm now having problems, <laughs> as ever, trying to get these bloody drop links off. They're rotted on. Oh, I've got one off. I changed it. I'm now working on this one. They're such a pain to get anywhere near. Everything's hidden away. Ah, oh, bloody things. <sighs> yeah, the other one I managed to get undone with some mole grips in the end. 
there's a lot of buggering about because the nuts have well and truly rotted on top of them never mind once I've got these buggers done ugh, I can then think about putting the uh, cross member back in oh, oh and obviously this um, yeah there's something missing here I'm not quite sure what but something's missing from there <laughs> Yeah, I'll whack that drive shaft back in once I've got this bugger undone on here. Right, let's get this done. <sighs> well, it's just taken me huh, about three quarters of an hour to get one fucking drive shaft back in. This little twat just did not want to go in there. But it's in now. <sighs> Hub nuts have tightened up. I've just got to stake the fuckers over. Ah, oh, what a panorama. Mind you, as I say, this will be the last on this bloody thing. Apart from I'll probably show one when it's completely finished. Just a short one. Because I'm getting fed up with it. It's nearly there now. As I say, the brake lines are all done now. Now that I've put the drive shaft both back in, I can fill up the IRD and the gearbox with fluid again. And I can put the cross member back under, but I've still got one bloody uh, pain in the ass drop link that just won't come off. Uh, I'm going to have to cut it, I think. So that's going to be a complete twat. And not easy to get at. But I'll, I'll work out a way of doing it. We'll get it done. But the good news is that once I've got this out of the way, which will be very bloody soon, I'm going to make sure of it. Then I'll be uh, starting on the series two. Yep, the old girl's coming down here. I've got a lot of mouse damage to repair, <laughs> amongst other things. My fucking mouse has been in there chewing the crap out of everything. Uh, I don't know where the hell it's been. I'm gonna have to check all the wiring and every fucking thing. <sighs> the last time I tried to use it, the bloody um, throttle cable was sticking on it. It's probably where something's been chewed somewhere, because it's never done that before. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but it'll be good clean fun. I've got brakes to sort out on it. Uh, it needs a general clean up, and I'm going to uh, probably repaint the chassis while I'm at it. What I can get at anyway. I'm not going to be ripping it apart too much to do that. It was painted before, but the paint wasn't much cop. Uh, I've still got shitloads of this um, chassis paint that I bought from the Defender, so I can use that. Plus, there's a bit of light surface rust appearing on the chassis because of bloody paint and that that wasn't there before. So, again, to clean up, treat the rust, paint it. So, yeah, things are going to be uh, back to proper Land Rover related very soon. Very soon, he says, looking at that fucking thing. <laughs> right, I suppose I better get on. See if I can get some more done today. I doubt it'll be too bloody much. I might even call it a day in a minute. We'll see. Back in a bit. Right, there we go. One new drop link finally on there. Fuck, was that a twat to cut off? It's so hard to get out. Complete and utter bugger. And as you can see, the floor looks a bit wet. That's uh, that's just gear oil. I stink a cat piss at the minute. Lovely. I just love EP oil. Really, oh, what a smell. Because I've just filled the IRD and the gearbox back up. They're properly done now. Ah, oh, I've managed to sort out the battery box with a bit of careful recutting of threads onto that bolt. It was just long enough to get a nut on top of. And that will now hold down the battery, no problem. The clutch is now working again. I have got it sorted, hopefully. <laughs> I finally had to just pump the crap out of it until it was nice and stiff, push it right down to the floor and hold it there with a bit of wood for two days. In the hope that it will bubble the air up. And it seems to have worked. 
which is why I put the battery box back in. Which is why next time I come and have a look at this thing, it's bound to be fucked. <laughs> oh dear, I've also found one other problem I've got to sort out. I've got a knackered bloody brake hose on the uh, offside. This thing's got to go for an MOT and the brake hose is all cracked. So. I shall have to replace that as well, but I've got to bleed the other rear brakes anyway, so. I don't know. Oh, no, all I've got left to do now is the two ah, the gear selector rods need to go back on. Let's see these little buggers. The one with the big bend there, the longer one. That goes uh, from the top of the selector on one side over here to the uh, selector on the gearbox it goes at the front and this other one goes at the bottom and back yeah they're not too bad need to stick a little bit of grease in them because they're a bit dry yeah need a bit of grease in them any bit of grease needs to go in those and I can clip them back in but I'm not doing that now because I have a floor that is soaking wet with bloody gear oil and I already stink a cat piss enough to uh, just be happy to leave it till tomorrow so it's dried out a bit and I can bugger about with some more cardboard before I go back under there so I can clip those on and then I can put the uh, cross member back on basically once the cross members back on I can then think about the under tray which I'm going to adjust anyway. I don't like them in the first place. We need it to hold the bloody front of the car. Trim there. And everything. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out that plastic bit. The big main bit of it. Because all it does is bloody hide the fact you've got leaks. So you don't realise when your engine or gearbox is leaking. Because it all just builds up on the under tray. Bloody stupid idea. First thing I did when I got the Defender was rip the under tray off it and throw it away. Because it was just full of mud and water. Wonderful. Bloody silly ideas. I'm sure they don't do it so you don't see what's going wrong until it's too bloody late. And then you have to pay a fortune to get everything fixed at your local dealers. I can't see any other reason for it. Because let's face it, the amount of bloody uh, streamlining it uh, affords is negligible, really. Because most of the air is going over the top of the car, not underneath it. And anyway, you've got lots of other things on there for the air to hit. So, I mean, stupid idea. Really stupid. Alright. I better go and order a new brake line, I suppose. Bloody things. Mind you, this is under one caliper that's uh, an oldie. The one on the other side's been renewed. And I know the rear brakes were redone not long before we bought it. Right. I know I said this is going to be the last one. <laughs> but there might possibly be one more. I do fucking hope not. No, this will have to do it. I'll just show a bit of footage on something else of uh, of it finished when I'm doing this series 2 or whatever, I think. Because as I say, there's fuck all left to do. I've just got to whack the uh, cross member back on. And that's fairly easy. You just connect it at both ends bar its ball joints, push it up and then uh, use the two bigger bolts to hold it uh, slightly while you put in the other fairly large bolts that hold the suspension arm just in case you're just doing them up a bit and then once they're all in place tightening them right up 
and then do your ball joints last. And then obviously once I've got it down on the ground then I'll have to tighten up the uh, holding bolts for that arm. Because obviously you don't tighten those up until you've got the weight of the car on it. Otherwise you end up with a twisted bloody bush which is not a good idea. Right, I'm going to call it for this one. That's bloody enough. Sorry it hasn't been very interesting. <laughs> no, it hasn't been interesting for me. Fucking thing, I hate it. <laughs> I just can't wait to get that series two in here and get my teeth into something that I really enjoy doing. Right, see you soon, people. Look after each other. Look after yourselves. Look after every fucker. Look after the cat, the dog, the rabbit. Yeah, I get fed up with hearing that and all. <laughs> all right, take care, people. Bye.